Hi, it's Helen here again, the co-founder of Tone Deaf 50. Today we're going to talk about the most popular topic again on the internet, especially for women in their late 40s and 50, like me in the past, how to lose weight fast and how to lose belly fat fast. There are many, many ways out there, but I am going to share a couple of things that worked for me while I was preparing for my bikini fitness competition in 2019. I learned a few simple ways that now that I figure many of the women are struggling with excess body fat is because um, they're doing everything else. They're eating well, they're working out. But in order to lose the fat fast, there are many ways, but I'm going to share with you the ways that I believe uh, will make you get rid of those fat fast. Of course, some of them you already know that, right? Some of them you already know that, but I'm going to talk about three and I will explain to you why as a woman in your 50 is still possible to look lean again. You just have to know um, which way will get you the result fast. All right. So in in terms of um, areas that you need to focus on, basically your diet, your training and your recovery process. Recovery means when you go out to the gym and you exhaust your muscles, they need to be pampered. So recovery means you need to take care of your muscles when you go home. If you're working out, you're eating well, but you don't take care of the muscles at home afterward, they won't grow. They need to be pampered. Just like our kids, you feed them, you take them for a walk, and they need to rest. Even for adults, the process is still the same. right? Some people, if you're not getting a result, um, one of those areas might be not um, accurate. I mean, not um, done properly, right? If you're eating well, you're following your diet and you're working out, but then you go home, you don't sleep or you basically stress out. Those are not um, proper recovery. So uh, I'm going to mention here the three on top areas that you need to really look into it. If you are still struggling with that, that look that you're not happy when you stand in front of the mirror. All right. So the thing that worked for me and I'm going to share with you is if you wanted to melt off your fat fast, fast, literally fast, um, you probably already doing many types of exercise already. You probably go for walks, jogs, swimming, and cardio, aerobics, dancing. Those are great. But you want something, you want an activity or exercise that give you, give you, give your ability um, to melt off that excess body fat, even when you are sitting down. For example, uh, when it com- it's the same thing as when it comes to making money. You want passive income. Passive income means you want it to have income without actually working for it. So, and in this case, you want your body's ability to burn off fat without actually going to the gym. And how do you do that? Mm, here, this is what you do. You incorporate strain training. Strain training. training you incorporate strain training into your um, workout more why is because strain training will develop your muscles will make your muscles leaner when your muscles are leaner and stronger that means they will use more of your body's energy when you are basically even just walking, breathing uh, when you are lying down. Why is because muscles require more energy to move around. Uh, For example, imagine a piece of muscles and fat. 
I'm going to share with you what they look like. Ha, I have here a piece of muscle. Look at how lean and how beautiful it is versus a piece of fat. In terms of volume, the muscle looks heavier and smaller, but they both are one pound. So when you do strain training, you increase your muscles. Then you make your muscles stronger. All right? When they're stronger, that means they're heavier. If they're heavier, and your body would have to use more energy to have nutrients penetrate. For example, one of the things, right? <laughs> Why you, um, how your muscle is using more energy. If food goes into your muscles, it needs more energy because the muscles are thicker. It's harder to penetrate, but the, mus the fat here soft. So for water, for, uh, for anything to travel to the muscles, it uses less energy go to the fat and more energy for anything to travel to their muscles. Every muscle, every fat, they have blood vessels, right? Even blood going into the muscles and the fat, they require energy. So if you have more of these muscles in your body, that means your body would use more energy. Energy means basically um, calories, the energy you get from food. So if more of those are used up, that means your body started to use fat for fuel. And what does that mean? That means less of your body fat will store in your body. So this is why it's so important and a really good strategy to lose fat fast is incorporate more strength training. Okay? So that's in, in the workout section. In the diet section that you can do to melt away the excess fat is have, have a high protein diet. High protein diet. You probably already know protein has many functions in your body. But let's let's go how protein can actually help you melt off body fat fast. Protein, besides keeping you full, giving your body nutrients, but protein, again in this case, help feed your muscles. Your muscles need good quality protein to grow, to repair, and to keep working uh, properly. So your muscles need protein as a fuel to stay function properly. So you need to have that. Every cells in your body, not just muscles, but your bones, your hair, your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, they all have cells that are made of protein. So you need protein to maintain those organs in your body. If you don't have proteins in your diet, if your body lacked those nutrients, your organs will become weaker. And what happens you when your organs become weaker? That means the ability to function inside will not be enough to to have activities. And when your body doesn't have any activity inside, what's gonna happen? It won't absorb your food. It won't process the food well. It won't eliminate the food. And then you have problem inside. That's when people have disease, have inflammations, and have all those illnesses because the organs in the bodies are not being protected and they're not well. And one of their best diet that you can have to maintain all the beautiful um, organs, even your skin, 
is having a high protein diet. Of course, good quality um, protein like egg white, lean chicken meat or a beef or any kind of a healthy, not cooked with overly, um, uh, you know, with too much um, oil or, or just not too much processed cooked with those, um, the, um, the protein, but clean. And then you will see even your hormones are made of protein. I hear so many women in the, in the later years, senior years, afraid to have protein. And, but protein is an ingredient, is a, a nutrients that our body needs the most, and especially as we get older. All right? So in the nutritional area, have more protein. Ah. And last one for the recovery. What do you have to do? You're working out, you have training, you're eating a high protein diet. And what else do you need? Ha. Ah to help your body get rid of the body fat is sleep. Not just any kind of sleep, but quality sleep. Well, your body, um, you go to work, out in the gym, put the muscles, you exhaust them, they're tired. So you feed them with good nutrient, and now you, they need, your muscles need to rest. So you need to sleep, good quality sleep, right? We call them, um, I was told by my coach, they call REM sleep. <laughs> they call it rapid eye movement. That means you are deep into the sleep. I was told that when you're deep in your sleep, your body started to reduce body fat somehow, body fat seem to go down when you sleep maybe because honestly i don't know much about scientific inside your body but i know when you think about baby sleep and they grow so when you sleep your muscle will change and importantly when you sleep well you'll be less stressed when you're less stressed you can do more imagine you're stressful i mean you're stressed you can function as well and most people when they're stressed they like to eat more, they can make good decisions. So, and what happens when you can make good decisions? Everything is sort of chaotic, right? Your, your, even your cells in your body are confused. If you're confused here, imagine your body, your cells, they're confused too. If they're confused, they won't change. They will be stressed out as well. So somehow sleep works and um, getting rid of some of your excess body fat. So this is uh, three things I love and I worship is start more strain training, have high protein diet, and sleep to protect the muscles that you exhaust them in the gym. All right, I hope this helped and um, please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.